hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is bright code if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet and you are watching my tutorial please subscribe turn on bell notification and like this video it also supports me when you like it hit that subscribe button thank you very much so in today's video we're taking a look at how to convert from grid to list and from list back to grid like as you can see here this is the list view which you usually see it in mobile or some website maybe in find manager on your website that's where you see this then you can change it if you want change it to grid like this you can still change it back you just it and these icons as it that you see here are done using pure css they are not icons these two icons and these two this they are not real icon they are done using pure css and which you are going to learn how to do too also some of all these things here if you want to learn it you just have to follow the video in order to learn how to do it clearly so i'm going to go through it and show you how to do it so follow me in order to understand it better so okay guys let's get started and then let's learn it thank you very much. all right guys so the first thing that we are going to be doing now is search normal or html let's just name it list to grid or vice versa i can name it the other one and we'll be using an inline styling tool sort of an external because we're not going to be using much then our javascript okay now let's start with our html we are going to name give it a div container then our icon we are just going to name it icon even though we are not using main font icon so the first one will be the list icon and it should have about three span something like this okay then the other one should be grid icon and that should have four four spans all right guys after that we should move over to our let's name it list to grid your short form and then we should just name it give it a class of column maybe you can add as many as you want but i'm just gonna make it four four i'm going to name it column one let's just copy this right to be faster column one column two column three and column four okay guys that should be it this is just what we need we don't this is just the basics so that's why i'm going to go with this small thing this small html so now let's move on to the html where we'll do the styling now i want you to have a all element so box sizing border box come right after that body the body should have background and his background should be 2f 3.5 and also 4.2 okay that is it and then our container which everything is inside you should have a position we are going to center it in the middle of the page top 50 percent and left 50 percent too then transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent right now it's in the middle of the page and it should have a width of 500 pixels and height of 100 percent then you have a margin margin that should be 100 pixels and auto let's make the body overflow hidden so that will not it's not going to show out or move out of it, the body then the icon should have a width of 100 now should we make the icon before the list and grid 
here in height 40 pixels position absolute you will be moving it around then make it right minus 10 pixels. so now we are not going to see the effects of it we are going to make it display flex let me just pull background color if so that my show that is the background so let's just take it out it's just the icon in it that we want after that we are going to have the list and the grid both of them should have a width of 35 35 pixels and height of 5 pixels sorry that is wrong 35 pixels and then position should be relative since we'll be moving what is inside also cursor make it pointer and then margin give it a spacing 0 top 10 right 0 bottom and 0 left after that we should have our span in the list we should start with the list so the span one that should be width 30 percent height 5 pixels and then background white background right now it's not going to show so what we are going to do is give it a position sorry for that noise position absolute there it is and then top 5 pixels and left 3 pixels okay and then what we are going to do is the since there are 3 we are going to grab the second one and the third one so let me just copy this paste this here to view that is the end child second should have a top 15 pixels then let's just copy this ctrl d and then it should be 25 there it is after that we should move over to the grid now it looks more like this one it looks more like a span so you can see more like a list group so after that our grid sorry we have already done it our grid should have a span of width it should be 10 pixels height 10 pixels no, 10 pixels and then background should also be white right now it's not going to show and position to absolute and then it should be left 5 and the top 5 there so the next thing i'm going to do is almost the same thing with the list they are four so we are going to grab the second third and fourth when child second that should be top 20 so grab the next one to see ctrl d ctrl d and ctrl d let me just arrange this arrangement is also good when you are styling something since that i did more than i did five instead of get out yeah then this other one should have left 20 there yeah. and this one should have top and left too so left is going to be 20 and top will be 20 there yeah. so now we are done with it and then let's move over to our main thing which is left that should be display this is the one for the grid grid template calling one fr one fr 
right now see this is one for the grid i'll show you wait just follow me so i'll show you what to do margin top should be 35 30 sorry 35 pixels okay after that then let's target the divs yes divs so that should be l c g the div in it should have a width of 90 percent and then height its height should be 200 the height should be more than that of the list so the grid height should be more than the list then display flex justify content center then align items center okay and now background more like a reddish background so that should be ff4757 good margin 10 pixels and then box shadow should be five pixels nine pixels two pixels rgba zero 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 point two okay dokey now this is it for the grid so now we are going to remove this you see this we are going to just comment it out so that we can be able to do the list now it's back to normal when we do the list what we are going to do is that when we click on this button we are going to add a class to it in order to change it to a list and when we click the other button we are going to remove the class so now the this one does not have any class so when we click it we want this one that we are about to do now to have a class so which is something like the ltg dot list when you click it and to add the class list so it will change the list so now let's design it first before we add it which is display grid you can also use flex in this situation but for now we just want to use this great typically calling just one fr so this one is two columns what this is two columns that's what it means then this one means only one column after that you have a width of 100 percent after that we should move over to the div which is width 95 percent and height height should be 100 pixels and then margin top margin top should be 10 pixels okay seems like also there's something we haven't done yet that should be so right now why it is not showing like this is because here we are going to get the background color and the margin from here so let me just show you so now let's remove this first when we are done that's where you understand everything let's add the list so when we click the list that's when this should work out and now toggle line comment just comment it out all right guys now let's move that should be all for this css let's move to this order to be easier for you to understand because list which is equal to document dot query selector and that should be list all right let's copy it until d and d sorry guys let me do this right can you see it now okay and now 
so let's change this one to grid and here grid also change this to ltg also these two great now let's add if the list is clicked if this one is clicked which is list dot add event list now click event then arrow function which is we want ltg to have a class let a class list should add it to it and what is the name of that class that should be list so let's refresh and let's click on it boom now this is it this is how it will show and as for the other one if the grid is clicked add event listener maybe i should have copied this one but let me just i should be arrow function i'm making this same mistake then ltg dot class list we should remove the class list of list so that it will go back to normal so when we add this it's going to give us our list and when we click this it's going to turn back so guys this is it for this video i hope you enjoy it and you learned something if you want you can still do it on your own and learn it so that's a bit for you and uh, sometimes there are also lists with details you know there are some lists let me say this detail now maybe there are another button here where you click and some other detail will appear just like a list so that maybe you can do it and when you do it and you see it works or if you're having problem doing it you can ask me in the comment section below just do it so that when you click the other button it will appear as list then when you click this one those lists those details will go but when you click the other one the details will appear and when you click this you should turn back so just do it and mention in the comment section let me see what you did and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy it thank you very much